hello everyone so in today video uh, we'll discuss how we can able to connect matlab to aspen Hisis. so for that particular uh, for to have uh, matlab connected with aspen Hisis, you need to have a simple simulation of matlab Hisis. so in this particular case i have a gas stream which is entering to a compressor and this gas stream after leaving from the compressor is cooled down and then sent to a separator so in a separator what we are getting we are getting two products one is on the vapor side and one is on the liquid side so what we are trying to do in this particular case we are trying to use MATLAB to connect the MATLAB to this particular simulation and try to change uh, the temperature of the gas stream which is the inlet gas stream and try to see how this will affect the product that is coming out from the vapor of the uh, vapor side of the separator and similarly we need to also check uh, how the liquid product that is behaving when you are changing the temperature of the inlet feed stream which is the gas stream in this particular case so the first thing as i told you before you need to have a simulation a simple simulation or whatever the simulation that you are working with uh, you need to uh, save the simulation in the folder and also you need to save a MATLAB script file in the same folder okay so you make sure you have both the files both the MATLAB files and the simulation file that is saved on the same folder so let me show you what the, some of the information of the feed stream and then we will proceed to the MATLAB so if you open up the gas uh, stream in this particular example I just uh, use uh, some uh, gas mixture which is ethane propane isobutene and number uh, you can see the gas and we use this particular condition which uh, later on will change the temperature only to see the effect of changing the temperature on the uh, uh, on the product stream which are, which are vapors and the liquid of the separator okay so using this basic uh, information we need to compress it and we use uh, the, the pressure 50 uh, PSI uh, to compress this gas from uh, if you look at here we are compressing it from 3.36 PSI to uh, 50 PSI uh, obviously when you're compressing it then the temperature uh, rises also in this particular case you can see the temperature of the inlet is 50 raised 20 Fahrenheit after compressing the temperature is 204.6 Fahrenheit so we use a cooler to cool it down so the temperature is cooled down from 204.6 Fahrenheit to uh, 86 Fahrenheit keeping uh, uh, this is a pressure drop okay so you can see here we are we are, uh, we are cooling it down the stream from 204.6 to 86 Fahrenheit after this we send this stream to a separator uses the information of this cooler out stream to separate out the product in the form of papers and form of liquid so this is what we have uh, for the simulation so let's go to the MATLAB and then I'll show you on the MATLAB what how to start proceeding so you can close this simulation if you want okay. you can uh, have the simulation closed or you can leave it open whatever you want I just leave it open for a second so that it take less time to converge okay so let's open up the MATLAB I already done for the sake of the time I already done all the completion all the coding uh, in the MATLAB uh, and uh, I just want to explain to you how it works the first thing that you need to do is you need to connect the uh, HiSys application to MATLAB and the command that simple command that we are using in this particular case is uh, my object you can use any other name also is uh, active server active x server and the HiSys dot application that is the application they will take it from the library of the, of the MATLAB so you need to make sure if, if it doesn't work it, you need to make sure that the, the library of uh, HiSys is already being checked inside the, the option panel in the MATLAB okay the second thing we need to do is we need to open up the simulation case simulation case means your simulation this is your simulation case it need to be open so how you can make it open first you need to give a file name file name in our case if you look at here on the MATLAB this is the folder where I can kept, kept both files the ISS file and also the MATLAB file so this file is basically 
this one which is a hyphens file which you can take it from here okay so the file name path i can give the name of the file which is separator which is same as mentioned on uh, here but make sure you don't write the extension of the uh, of this file which is hsc instead of extension you write uh, the file name here so as i told you in the comment section section also without the aspen high extension now we need to open up the sim case so the simple uh, command that we use we use this my sim case which is equal to my object which is this one dot simulation case okay dot open so this command basically used to open so what they want to open they want to use this file to be open okay so this file with now here you can put the extension file uh, extension here and this file name is taken from here so they will open this particular file which is saved in the same folder okay so this command basically used to open it now uh, when your aspen when your simulation is closed uh, obviously it is not shown up even though it is open but it is not shown up so you need to use this particular command to uh, make it visible okay otherwise it will not be visible so after opening the simulation case the second uh, uh, after that what you need to do you need to get some data from the sim case okay so now sim case or simulation case is open now you need to take some information from here so what you need to do you need to use uh, this particular command my operation you can use any other variable also i gave it like this my operation is my sim case which is this one which is already already open dot flow sheet would go to the flow sheet this is the flow sheet and it will try to see what they have inside this flow sheet so in this particular case you can see if they, they are looking for this particular flow sheet in this sim case and inside the sim case they are looking for the operations okay so how many operations are present here you can see we have a compressor we have a cooler we have a separator so three separator three different operations are working uh, after this you have some optional information if you want to know what is included in this flow sheet operation you can use this get command uh, to get the information here so let me show you how it work so if i i already open uh, i already i run this simulation so you can see a lot of uh, information has been populated on this workspace so i just want to use this information to see what the my operation includes okay so if i type get my operation operations and enter you can see whatever is included in the flow sheet operations it will be shown up here so the application it contains uh, parent with they have three sub operations which are if you look at here you have one two and three operations mentioned in this uh, sim case operations okay so it will show you how many uh, operations are considered if you want to know what are the names of those operations you can simply just click on my operations dot names enter you can see clearly the name of the operation here is compressor which is uh, this name okay similarly the cooler name which is shown up here this one and similarly the for the separator we also have separate information okay so this way you can able to understand how you are able to see how many operations are present inside your simulation then we need to get some more information regarding our operations so for example you want, you want to see uh, what the pump it contains so you need to uh, give variable you need to attach a command to variable so a variable in this case is my pump which is equal to get my operations it will it will ask the my operation and it will ask only specific uh, operation which is the compressor so it will seek for the compressor and it will take the information from the compressor and put it here as a variable which is my pump similarly you can use it for the my heater which you take the information of the my heater this is the name of my heater and they will put it here inside the variable which is my heater and similarly my separator will take the information of my separator and put it in the variable which is known as my separator after that after that uh, you need to get if you want to know uh, some information regarding the feed which is here in this case is gas stream so you need to use this particular command so my stream is equal to my sim case which is the sim case that is open dot flow sheet dot streams so they will go to the flow sheet and streams and open up and it will attach the streams to this my stream okay so similarly 
this is this is all the streams so you have all the streams i guess uh, computer come out cooler out we and everything is basically attached to this variable which is known as my streams now i want to know specific stream that is the feed stream which is the gas stream here so what i will need to do i need to uh, add uh, i need to uh, call this one and give assign the I assign this to a variable called my feed which is get the information of my stream information specifically I want the information of the feed stream which is the cat stream and attach this to a variable which is called my feed so in the same time after you get this information you can you can use this command to get, get to know more information regarding what is present inside this my feed for example here in this case if I use get the bracket my feed and then if I press enter you can able to see what this my feed contains so you have many things all the properties the thermal uh, physical properties thermodynamic properties are mentioned here you can have temperature you have pressure pressure values molar flow rates mass flow rates and many other information are mentioned here so depending on what you need you can take information either you can take it from SPAN heises or you can give it to SPAN heises also Okay, so all this information you can take from my feed. Now I want to, uh, I want to only specifically take the information of pressure. So what I did, instead of writing this whole bunch of codes, I give, uh, I put a variable p and give this code to variable p. So my feed dot pressure dot get value. So I want to get the value of pressure in a, in a, in a units of bar and attach this variable to this particular. Uh, variable which is known as P and then you can display the uh, display the pressure also here similarly I can get the information of temperature of this uh, in degree Celsius and attach to a variable which is a temperature and then I can display the result of temperature or pressure here if you, if you want now I want to study some uh, something regarding this simulation so I want to change the temperature of the feed stream and I want to see how much is the flow rate changing how the flow rate is behaving in terms of uh, vapor flow rate how this uh, top flow rate is changing with rise in temperature and how this uh, liquid flow rate is changing with rise in temperature so what I did basically I use a temp uh, variable the values are changing from minus 30 uh, to 30 plus 30 with a step size of 5 degrees okay degrees Celsius so before I do this one I want to uh, I want to see the temperature of this cooler stream okay so I want to change this temperature I want to uh, see the effect of cooler st streams on the vapor and the liquid so I can say my cooler is equal to get my stream that item which is my cooler so I, I want to take this information of uh, this particular stream and I want to assign this one to my cooler similarly I want to take the information of vapor stream which is shown up here and I want to attach this to uh, a variable called uh, my, uh, my zip underscore v and similarly here I can just assign a zero values because I need an array of the values which, which is used for the plot so I start with the for loop from, uh, starting from i to 1 to length of temperature which is how much how many values of temperature you have then my cooler which is this one my cooler dot temperature value I want to take the temperature value uh, I want to assign the temperature value uh, of the my cooler by using this function so temp dot i so it means like you have the values starting from minus 30 to 30 so it will take the first value of the temperature and assign it to my cooler and then here I want to get the information of the uh, vapor stream in terms of molar flow rate kg mole per hour so I can get the information by using this particular command and then I can use uh, this value so here I want to store those values in this variable so that I can later on plot similarly I can use it for the liquid side here uh, for the liquid side I want to get the information for liquid side I already have the information for the cooler okay so what I need to do similarly similar like this I want to get the information of the uh, of the liquid stream which is leaving uh, molar flow rate of the liquid stream which is leaving by and che checking the temp how the temperature is affecting this liquid stream okay then after this after getting all those values which is shown in, in the form of MV and the form of ML where MV is nothing but the molar flow rate of the vapor that is leaving on the top of this stream and ml is nothing but the liquid stream liquid flow rate kg mole per hour 
you just leaving on the bottom of the separator. After this, I plot the temperature versus the borrow flow rate of papers, and I assign this uh, to a certain uh, red color. The, the line is red color. Similarly, at the temperature versus the borrow flow rate of the liquid is shown up here, and I give the width line width of one. I put uh, I give some title to this plot and I give them X labels and Y labels to this one. Similarly, uh, I can give legends to those lines. So after clicking on the run button, you will be able to see how this whole uh, simulation will start to work and how this will communicate with S1 Hyces and it will get the information what, what we want us we want S1 Hyces to give it to MATLAB. Okay, so click on the run button. After some calculation, you can see here clearly the plot uh, between the temperature and molar flow rate of liquid and vapors, which is leaving on the separator from the top and bottom, it's shown up here. So this blue line, which is shown up, the, the molar flow, flow rate of the liquid is decreasing by increasing the temperature, okay, of the, uh, of the cooler. Similarly, the molar flow rate of the vapor is increasing by increasing the temperature of this uh, particular uh, cooler. So what we are trying to do, we are to see what is the output temperature of the cooler by changing those temperatures we can able to see how this will affect the, the product which is leaving from the top and bottom of the spread okay so this is just to demonstrate a simple simulation and simple understanding of how we can able to use uh, MATLAB how we can connect MATLAB to as high as is and we can do uh, the, the reason why we are doing this because if we want to do some further investigation if you want to use those information from as high as is can use it for using for custom different different custom mathematical models you can use that information and you can connect MATLAB with SP Hyaces okay so this is just a simple demonstration of how we can able to connect MATLAB with SP Hyaces and how we can able to get all the information or even give the information to SP Hyaces in order to calculate different, different values whatever we want to calculate okay so I hope you understand uh, uh, the purpose of this video and I, I hope you can get a lot of information from this video if you uh, consider uh, liking this video I will be happy uh, to, uh, to upload more and more videos please consider subscribing and liking this video thank you thank you so much for uh, watching take care and bye